Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's channel we are joined with, nope, joined by Maria from Mixed by Genetics. That is her brand new channel. Please do go over there. Subscribe to that channel. It's all things mixed race. If you've enjoyed our other collabs, then do go over there because there's going to be more videos coming out over there and more fun mixed race content coming out. So today's video is going to be a shorter one. We are reacting to a comment made by Paula Patton in relation to being biracial slash mixed race and I'm going to play that content for you now so that you can see it and then you'll see our reactions. You said this, um, quote, I find the term biracial offensive. It's a way for people to separate themselves from African Americans, a way of saying I'm better than that. Um, I have a white parent and a black parent also and I've always hated the term biracial as well. It just didn't resonate with me. Uh, and now, you know, you see this conversation happening more with Colin Kaepernick series and so on, but that was really um, amazing when I heard you say that. It resonated with me. What are your thoughts when you hear that quote later? I, I feel the exact same way. I mean, I think that that's not to say that I don't embrace my mother and, and, and oh, yeah. everything that she's brought to my life, but it was my mother who let me know the world's going to see you as black. And that is who you are, you know? So don't have any question about that, you know? And, and I'm, I'm very grateful for her. Um, and I do, I think we live in, a, in the politics of race in our country are such that when one says, wants to make it very clear that they're not black, that it's a way to keep them separate from black people. Um, and we know we've had a long history in this country of that, of, of it not being popular to be black, to be honest with you. And so, yeah, I've always found that. and. Uh, to be an offensive term. Um, I'm black and I embrace, you know, that's my family. I'll hand over to Maria first to get her opinion because she's the guest. So please, after you. <laughs> Let me get in the, the hot seat here. Um, I don't understand. You know how they always have terminology um, if you're black, which, you know, in the United States of America, she is correct that it's unpopular to be black in America. Actually, it's unpopular to be any POC in America, to be clear. Um, what I don't understand is people say self-hating blacks, but they never talk about self-hating mixed people because that's exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why, like when, when I say this, I know I'm probably getting some heat for it, but it is literally genetics. It's not a movement. It's not a phase. It's not a group we're starting. If your mother is white, your white mother separated you completely from the black community because you are a part of the mixed community. Yeah. I'm not saying you can't love your blackness. I do. I know Victoria does. It just, you, you're, you're literally sacrificing parts of yourself because you want to fit in a mold and you don't want to be called out. That's what that is. That's exactly what it is. And I don't know who Paula Patton is. Honestly, I don't care, but I, I guarantee you if Paula Patton went after a role like stagecoach Mary, or she went after a role like Nina Simone. She's going to see just how black people see her in the mm -hmm. community. And that's all I want to say right there. And I think this does feed into the point that I made in my very first video about mixed race not being black. When you were saying about her as an actress going forward. If we accept that what she looks like is what black is, we are robbing black people from their roles and this is has always been one of my biggest thing like i hate seeing mixed race people in roles that we shouldn't be in because it's just reinforcing the stereotype of for example the light-skinned female or all these other things of what black should look like instead of it black looking like black and with her saying that her being mixed or calling herself biracial sorry is offensive i'm with you it is genetics <laughs> like it is not it's not here for your feelings it's not it's not something like a slur where it's to to offend someone it's just literally genetics it's what comes down on your dna if you were to take a test that is what it is and so i find it bizarre that that is now viewed as an offensive thing to be when it's literally just who you are it's like saying Oh, I have curly hair. That's offensive. You need to now not have curly hair. I can't change how my hair naturally is. And and zen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I, I don't understand. 
And honestly, I've always felt, especially in the States, because I know you're in the UK and it's yeah. different in the UK. In the States, we are pressured to pick a side. And we have stressed this in almost every video me and you have done. Even on my um, my other channel, Approach to Nerd, where we started doing these videos. All, I think the common denominator is we are pressured by other people to say what we are, which is a form of entitlement if you really think about it. it's You have to be an entitled person to tell somebody how to identify. Um, here in the States, you want to tell people how to love, what gender to, to you know claim, all of this stuff. People have a say in your life when you are not, especially in, in our case, monoracial. They feel like they have the right, even though they're not even related to you, they don't know you from Adam, to tell you what you can and cannot say you are. I don't understand it. I will never understand it. But what I think irks me the most is when somebody who is mixed mm. self hates. Yes. Because that is what that is. And I think it that then, is a reflection of that. It adds fuel then to the fire that goes against us when we're saying what we're saying. So this video, I guess, with Paula Patton kind of rubbed me the wrong way because she contributed, was another mixed person contributing to the struggle mm -hmm. that is very much real and making it harder for other mixed people to be proud of all of themselves yeah i know and even by saying i do embrace my mother but my mother my white mother told me okay so your white mother told you to be black well nobody's calling you out on that <laughs> because i mean you know i can show you tiktok videos where they talk about my what white mama say yes. all the time so like like i said it's it's uh it's all mm. bs and i think sort of my sort of closing comments on it as well my thing is i've always said identify how you want to identify it's your life i'm not going to tell you how to do it but don't make out that claiming your biracial your mixed race is somehow offensive like that's as in wanting to claim or say that you're proud of both sides is somehow you offending someone like i don't understand how just being by genetics is now offensive i just that's that's my problem with it so if she wants to say she's black oh, do you i do not care <laughs> but don't say that us saying that we're biracial we're mixed race is now us saying we hate our black side or we want to separate ourselves no we're just saying we're more than one thing <laughs> so yeah that I, was... I don't understand why this is hard but it is a struggle it is something people can't accept it's very weird to me um Super it's weird. literally science <laughs> it's not even science yeah i mean it's science so, so yeah that that's it for me on, you, you got my uh my opinion on this it's a bs it, yeah <laughs> on the science thing as i said maria's channel is mixed by genetics so just another plug there do go over there and subscribe we are making another video for her channel so make sure to go over there and check it out and please do smash the like the share and subscribe on this channel thank you again as always i should say thank you as always maria for being on the channel <laughs> always i live here she does she does <laughs> So thank you everyone at home as well. As always, do have a very blessed day. And until next time, Saudi Konha Zajien. Goodbye everyone.